All right, guys, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Elo Estimator. If you missed the last one, go check it out. It was, it was some game by our subscriber Slash. And again, we have him today again. I believe he has the black pieces here. All, everything's covered. We're going to guess what his Elo is. If it's increased from the last time, I think it was 5... What was it? it was 541? I think it was 541 he was rated. Um, then we are going to... See what chess.com has Elo estimated him as. Uh, so yeah, we'll have a look here and see how it goes. Oh, uh, so we'll switch over the screen. The game has started with uh, Sammy. Do we think they? If you go again, I think the chat. You may see the wee chat bubbles below us. So, game starts off with e4. I would immediately go for a cow Khan. Instead, he goes for the king's pawn opening. Which okay, yeah, everyone has their preferences. Yeah, here. You want to kind of get rid of the pawn, but you know, again, you're getting pushed. Because this pawn is here, your knight is getting kicked around. Would have been better to undevelop. That is a blunder. Because, why is that a blunder? Oh, fork. Oh, yeah. You just get your pieces forked here by the pawn. Does he find that? He does. Oh, oh slash. It's not going good for you. It's not going go good for you. Okay, so you get the pawn, he has a massive center, he has his pieces developed, you're kind of playing catch up here at the moment, uh, going for a pin, brilliant attack in the rook, yeah, trading off, okay, I wouldn't have traded off myself, we'll try to keep pieces on, turn it into more of a maneuvering game, um, and I think... You know, White is just pushing his pawn down here to be a bit of a nuisance and get in the way, probably for later in the game. That, like this knight is so strong here. The only way I can be kicked out is by a pawn push. Only if you are pushed by the pawn, then I probably would have taken. Um, because it's so strong with the, what's the word for that? The, the outpost it has. But good, destroying the pawn structure on the king side. Um, Trading off rooks, okay, so you're now just down a piece, which, you know, you it was your knight that got lost, so it's good. And again, amazing move, seeing this here, uh, not a right triangle, but, you know, seeing the connection there to the pieces. Um, Go for a queen trade, okay, so you're trying to win down a piece, right? Okay. Now, this is a blunder because, well, he's just lost his knight. Yep, brilliant. Brilliant slash, you've seen it. Um, get, start and get your king into the game. Brilliant. You should probably look for a bit of pawn pushes. Your rook now is extremely limited to moves it can make. Um, now, you split your pawns. You captured and... Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're just getting that... And he, he can't make any advancements, really. So, can you convert it, though? Yeah, he, he put himself in the mate there. That was just, like, White was dominating. White had such a dominating position. He was... You immediately lost your knight, but you managed not to blunder too much. Trade down in the right way. And... Like you trade it, your dark squared bishops because your main two pawns, most advanced pawns, are on dark squares. Um, and again, his bishop, light square bishop, is quite useless because most of his pawns are going to be on light squares. Uh, but okay, yeah, trading it down, destroying the pawn structure, which ended up this destroying of the pawn structure. This trade that you made was the most fatal part uh, because at the end of the day, that's what cut off his king. I cut off the circulation and being able to come and assist. Um, brilliant moving with the rook, trading out the, down of the queens. No one when to push your pawn and capturing the free pieces when you have the opportunity. This pawn push, I don't really understand. Like, yeah, it gets your king in. Yeah, it is good. Like, it ended up working for you. And then here, yeah, you could have just went munching, like Pac-Man, just absolutely killing all his pawns. But brilliant, that was a brilliant game. I, I'm going to say that you're probably, well, it was good conversion, it was good. I'd say that you're, in this game, again, it's the same rating. 
no same time frame time, uh, what what was it it was blitz blitz yeah it was blitz i'm gonna say say all right i'm gonna say chess.com give you Oh, it's hard to say because you were so lost. Then you pulled it back. Tesla Collins rating's gonna be Ah oh, right, 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 right. I'm gonna say you're six hundred rating. Like you've got up around the six hundred mark. You know, give me ten points either side. Maybe ten maybe fifteen. Um Then I'm gonna say your opponent was probably he was good, like he managed to come out of the opening quite well. I would say probably five, fifth, uh, no, oh it's so hard, I'd say about 550, 550 for your opponent and I'd say you play 600 because the way you managed to convert and come back shows a massive understanding, so see what chess.com says first of all, oh I've got to guess chess.com, I'm going to, I'm going to say this aim about 500 for white, 600 for black, because there's nothing spectacular, Let's see. Yo, got Chesla Collins on, on the button. White, 500. Black, 600. So hold on, have I got, I've actually got this right then? Let's see. Click. It got off. So white is 537. So what's that? 13 points off? 13 points off? And you are... You're 533, dude! Stop losing games. Gain rating, slash and talent. Gain rating. Oh my god. My god, see the low elo chess, I wish I could go back to low elo chess, I really do, don't get me wrong, I, I ain't the highest elo, but like I, I'm I'm at a point where people know what they're doing, <laughs> like they're not playing for fun, they're, they're playing to win, oh, this is brilliant, this is a brilliant game, um, what does chess.com actually say about it, that game was pretty competitive, the opening was balanced, no, the opening was not balanced, Chess. Like I don't think so, anyway. Both players navigated the middle game well. The player battled pretty evenly in the end game. No, I, I think that's wrong. The opening, you lost. White won the opening, dominated. Um, yeah, like White, excuse me, dominated the opening. They had a massive advantage during the middle game. And I would say during the end game, which would be at about here you know once the queens this is it once the queens went off this is the end game to me this is what i think this is the end game and you managed to convert it after a blunder you capitalized you kept your position going and yeah no that was a really really good game oh well anyway guys thank you for watching if you do want your games reviewed if you want the elo estimated that i don't have an absolute ball of what they are just leave it down in the discord below there isn't the Esto, Elo Estimator uh, section in the Discord, just submit your games there and we'll get them on the next live stream we'll be recording and we will start to uh, get all the games estimated. Anyway guys, thank you so much, thank you all my subscribers for watching and submitting the games and have a good day, bye bye.